There's nothing quite like the UVA Bay game. Here we are at GE Washington DC headquarters playing a game with folks in the industry of water. And we've expanded the vision of the game beyond just being about the Chesapeake Bay. And our partners, like GE, are also recognizing the power and potential of the game as well. The idea that a tool like this can revolutionize management of ecosystems. What's uh, fascinating is everybody's starting to understand very quickly their interdependencies with the decisions that are made by um, different representatives, different players, the regulators or the, or the developers or the people who are harvesting crabs. And so the scenarios that we're playing with the UVA Bay game are very similar to the real life uh, challenges that we face in trying to conserve natural resources while also balancing out um, the economic productivity of an area and preserving the cultural and social values of the area as well. I hope that people by playing the game understand that there's amazing innovative new technologies that can be used to tackle these complex systems. We live in a new media world and the exciting part of gameplay, playing these types of interactive virtual games, is it allows people to, in a, few, a period of a few short hours, gain the types of insights that would otherwise take years or even decades. You have to really be thinking about all the moving parts simultaneously in order to make optimum decisions for everybody. At GE Intelligent Platforms, what we believe is when you can have good, solid information, then you can make better decisions. And I think this game shows how we're really a part of a larger interest that having better information, having better communication allows everyone to have a more prosperous future. This is wonderful. It's just a wonderful, different, very, very unique tool to use. Um, so I'm excited about using it. <laughs> My role as Chief Sustainability Officer is to to look at the, the world, if you will. So uh, it helps me visualize and kind of connect the dots much better than I could without this type of a tool. I think we've also affected the way people are thinking about these problems, and that's what the game really does. They're maybe stretching their thoughts and their, their approaches and their interactions with other people outside that standard community. That's all good. I'm actually impressed with the amount of discussion and dialogue that's, that's going on within the group that happens with it. I, I thought that maybe it would be a quiet group because I know the industry so well, but this is, this is the most active I've seen this, this industry in a long time. It's really, it's really exciting to see. It started, the class started getting louder, which is, I think, the, what you really want to see. People getting up and moving around and staying away from their seats and introducing themselves to each other. I think what I really loved about today's gameplay is the laughter. And I think for me, that really showed that people were tackling these complex issues, very technical issues, but through a game interface and through collaboration, it was fun and it was exciting, but we were able to deliver a message, and that's really, really important. When you see it all come together at a gameplay like this, you can see how it is that the whole exceeds the sum of the parts. We created a tool that grabbed the hearts and minds of a large group of people who work outside a university, but who share the same interest in economic and environmental sustainability that we do. It's a way of getting at the complexity of the real world. And it's a way of posing questions to ourselves and to potential external partners that will lead to new solutions. As we work with industrial clients, we have about 50,000 customers around the world in the water business alone. And what we find is when you bring visibility to data, when you, you make them aware of what's happening, they are proactive uh, change agents. So to me, this is just a, a fantastic visibility tool to make people aware. And without that awareness, I don't know how we're ever going to get changed. Because it isn't going to be incentives and pricing and that. What's going to happen is it's got to be ground up. And visibility to information is what drives change to me. I'm excited about the opportunity to take this, expand it, take it to more watersheds, take it to even broad and past just the, you know, the, the players that we have at the table. We can find the solutions, but it really takes thinking outside the box. And I firmly believe that this type of technology is the way to find those solutions. This is the type of fresh, pioneering thinking that we need if we're going to build a sustainable 21st century.